If I could characterize my parents in any way, I would say that they are God-centered people, whether it's their relationship with each other, with their children, or with the wider community. Whenever they make a decision, they think, what would God want me to do? And I think that's really what Magnificat is all about, and the Magnificat. They often say, all good things come from God. And that kind of humility is what makes them such truly special people. There's not a couple that I can think of that's more deserving of the Magnificat Award. I think that um, they exemplify faith, family, and commitment, generous commitment, more than almost anyone else. And they are very humble and unassuming people. And they just um, are wonderful, caring, considerate. I just can't come up with enough adjectives to describe them. My dad likes to be in the trenches, doing the work, being involved in Father's Club, being visible, where my mom is really a behind the scenes worker. So while he may have been visible at Night and Blue events, she was the one at home dealing with relationship problems, student council traumas, getting homework done, making sure we were at our sport events. Pat enabled him to do it, and that's where I think her contribution too, although it might be as a silent partner from this point of view. Um, she was supportive of him and let him spend the time that he did here <laughs> to make Magnificat what it is today. Bill was a founding board member, and that group of folks obviously set the direction of Magnificat High School once uh, the sisters turned it over to the lay board. In fact, Bill was part of the group that established the endowment fund in 1988. When I went on the board at Magnificat, Bill was the chairman of the finance committee, had been for many years. It's like watching the king and his, uh, and his fiefdom. Bill controlled it totally and had everything under control. It was very detailed, very organized. He put more hours into it than anybody else I know. Things that came to Bill's attention were never too big or too small. You know, for example, one time he came to a meeting and said, well, gosh, why does the baseball backboard face east instead of west? Um, because as the sun sets in the west, the batter's standing in the batter box and obviously is, could be blinded by the sun, especially when we went to fast pitch softball here at Max. And subsequent to that, the back the backstop was relocated to the west end of the field. So whether big or small, uh, Bill uh, was very, very willing to get involved. The last project that I was involved with when Bill was in, I was still here, was the Performing Arts Center. And the um, expansion of the building going north, which was a major, major undertaking. We got it done, and uh, I think it turned out very, very well. They are devoted Christians, they're devoted family folks. They are devoted to their community. And they have been a tremendous asset to Magnificat High School. One phrase to characterize Bill and Pat is unselfish love. When my parents started the scholarship fund in memory of my sister Kitty, they wanted to give other girls the same opportunity we had to have the Magnificat experience. Bill and I wish to sincerely thank everyone for being here this evening. We also wish to thank the Magnificat community for the Magnificat Award. We are truly honored and humbled to receive this award for doing something that was truly a labor of love, a joy to be of service at Magnificat. Pat and I congratulate uh, tonight's honoree of the Alumni Award of Excellence, Ann Zoller, whom we know from personal experience is truly deserving of this award. We wish to uh, thank the entire Magnificat community uh, its enlightened uh, administrators and its dedicated faculty and also the parents who never seem to tire of giving service 
to Magnificat. Patty and I are especially blessed with our 40-year relationship with the Humility of Mary sisters who pioneered this fine institution. Uh, especially I want to remember uh, Sister Helen Jean, uh, Sister Carolyn, Sister Carol Ann, and Sister Mary Pat for the many years that we worked with them. We want to thank and to remember the prior recipients of this award and all others who have served Magnificat in any capacity. They have been our mentors and our guiding lights. Most of all, we want to thank all the Magnificat students from the past and present and future who have made this the best Catholic girls' school in the country. The students should remember to be the Magnificat, to learn, to lead, and to serve. I also want to thank my wife and my three daughters, uh, Anne, class of 85, Maggie, class of 89, and Libby, class of 95, um, who made all this effort worthwhile. I also want to thank my five sons who supported us in, in our efforts at Magnificat over the years. Thank you for being here.